Hello and welcome. Today you are going to learn something interesting. At least for me it was cool when I added it in my application. So you know when we add a user, after we create the user it is going to close the model but it is not going to show us here. So unless we refresh our page it is not showing us here. So how you do that? Uh, I mean it should display that we have a new user. Actually there are three ways of course in this video I will show you two of them but in the third video maybe in the second video maybe I explain you a little advanced topic like using Laravel echo and how you can do that with Laravel echo but I'm not sure if I do that because this is already what we are going to do so let's see how it is going to work out in this video so firstly we can put a set time interval L let's say after three seconds we say send an Ajax request to the server and get new data and display here every three seconds every five seconds you can do that one this is what most applications do let's say for example if I open Twitter so let's see if they are going to do the same thing so this is the Twitter okay if I just inspect element here let's go to the network tab and here we just listen for the XHR request so you know if I just come a little down yeah this in request here is the first request timeline if I scroll down, scroll down a little bit, it's going to send another request. If I scroll down, scroll down, it is going to send another request, another request to load all new data. You know every web application is going to send requests. You can count the requests here. So these are the amount of requests they send to the server and they return back. So this is one way. But sometimes, you know, for performance issue, you can open your uh, debugging tool network we are going to send only one i think one or two HTTP requests if i refresh the page it is going to be sent only once yeah to the user and we get the data from the user so it is fine for small applications that we can do but sometimes user is doing nothing but they still they are going to send requests to the server to get new data that is not good for performance but for now i will show you but maybe in today's video or tomorrow or the next video which i'm going to record both of them today and i will upload them of course today and I will show you the other way too so let's start doing first of all there is a function called set timeout this function is going to do is it see the timeout it it means that after three seconds this function will trigger here is the three second of course they show in millisecond so it is going to happen once but there is another function called set interval it is going to run a function every five seconds the difference is it will just run after three seconds it will run every five seconds so this is what we are going to use so let's just, uh, start using it so you know if I open the let's say the users I can come down here you know this method is going to load the user so uh, you know we have methods and we have created here is the created so what I'm going to do is first of all you load the data in the first place but in the second place we say set interval and now we say this dot load data load user function and then we pass this three second and we say that uh, after three second again call this function so let's see how it works uh, if i open the console and php or not npm run watch so let's compile our file it is done now I will close it let's see how it is going to work so I'll come to my application here I will refresh the page and this time we will wait like three seconds to see if this is going to send an HTTP request every three seconds you know so far it has sent two and we wait a few more seconds let's see if it is going to send again but it is not sending any request because you know we have added it to the create it means once our component was created it is going to do this one so there is another way you should do this one it is going to when the component was created first of all they send uh, they just run the function and second time they do this one so what we want is every three seconds here is how you do that so let's let me explain it to you how it is going to work we say set interval and this we say this dot load user you know you cannot pass a function here unless you are using ES6 which we are using using ES6 
we passed a function here. So what we basically should do is, instead of writing your function directly here, you should call a function like anonymous function, and then you can write your function here. This dot load, let's say load users. So if I save it this time, and let's go to our application, refresh the page. We just listen, yeah, this is the first reload here, the first time it load, and we wait for three seconds. Mm, I think we have an error. So if I check out the error here, you know, we are getting error every three seconds. So if I come up, unit is going to load, yeah, five. This, this cannot read this function here. So what is the problem here? You know, we see this dot load user. When we call an anonymous function here, we must bind it at the end. So, I don't want to do that. The easiest way is to use the ES6 arrow function. I will remove it. Just write uh, a parameter like this. You know, this is uh, going to be like a function. But what is good about this one is, then you can see this dot load users. This is easy. Like, you can use this now. If you are using ES6, just say, this is a function which is going to call the, uh, this dot load user. So, otherwise, you must bind the this to the function in the past like in when you were using the old version of JavaScript then you had access to this now it is easy like if I save it this time it should work so if I refresh the page let's see if it is going to send the request here is two requests three requests and four requests yeah every time it send a request and it get the status, status of 200 which is okay let's change the value and see if it is going to work so if i open the php my admin here here is my list of uh, data here Ho okay i just change one of them let's say sweet alert 2 we will change this to update it so for now if i save it here it should get uh, save the changes and if i come here yeah it instantly just change here because every three seconds we send data the best thing about this method is like it is going to send that uh, every three seconds like it is going to send either we have new data or we don't have new data either we have created a new user or not it is going to send so it is not bad but for performance issue it is a little like uh, not good because user is not doing anything again it is going to send an HTTP request to the server so this is the one method so the, uh, the second method is what we are going to do is we are going to use the custom events uh, custom events is we say if something happen then you should trigger the function like send a request to the server and then just display new data that is better i think so that is what we are going to do in the next video so i hope it has been informative for you and i will upload both video today and see you in the next video